We are the Young at Heart Big Band, and uh, I drew the short straw today. My name's Bill Jones, and I've got the microphone. That was our theme song, Young at Heart, called uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. And now I'm going to uh, introduce one of our newest members of the group. Courtney's been with us for the past year, and we are thrilled to have her. And Courtney Ture is going to join us now, and she's going to do her rendition of How About You? audition. <laughs> it's uh, nice to be with you folks today. Uh, we especially look forward to this gig because it's actually our last performance of the year. And it, you are number 35. The band has had 35 performances this year, so we're all old and we're worn out. <laughs> and it's good to see some friends here. My old boss is here. I saw him come in, Mr. Bill Grimes. He and I worked together for uh, 10 years in the Woodford County school system, and he and his lovely wife Lisa are here, as long as Adrian Mahan, another old friend, from our sailing days. So it's good to see you folks. It's always fun to be in bands. Now we're gonna do for you uh, St. Louis Blues, featuring our lead trumpet player, Mr. Reg Dutrois.
swine. Now, this band, you might notice we're, we're not the, we are young at heart. That's about the only thing that's young. We've got more replacement parts than probably everybody in the audience. But uh, we, uh, we come from several different places. We're base based out of Lexington. We've got people from Frankfurt, Mount Vernon, DeSales, Bakersfield, Georgetown. So we come from all over. And uh, we're a nonprofit organization, a 501c. And what we do with the funds that the band is paid is none of us get paid, which still shocks some of us. But we don't get paid, but the money is used to support uh, public school music programs. And we also take donations of used band and orchestra instruments. Thank you. Uh, used uh, band and orchestra instruments. So if you have any at home or a grandchild is no longer in the band or orchestra program, we'll be glad to take off your hands, give you a tax deduction for it. We get it put in playing condition, and we put it in the hands of some young, deserving musician. And you never know, it may end up paying their way to college. So uh, it's a pretty good business that we do. Now we're going to continue on. Uh, I believe Courtney, you're going to sing again, weren't you? And this is Everybody's Waiting for the Man at the Back.
we're going to do another vocal. I believe it's a vocal. Come fly with me. No, that's the instrumental one. We're not going to do a vocal. Come fly with me. <laughs> we don't play enough to remember these things. We also, you know, one reason we're able to keep it all together, the band actually has its own resident shrink now, Greg back here. So whenever we're in trouble, he kind of has a group therapy session. So next we're going to do Sammy Collins and James Van Heusen, come fly with me. Mr. Bill Abernathy on trumpet. Now we're going to bring Miss Courtney up, and she's going to sing for us, Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas.
leave the holidays for just a second and go to church and bring back Mr. Ray Bridgewine, and he's going to do a little trumpet solo on Swing Low, Sweet Chatter. Christmas song, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, Let It Snow, and this Courtney is going to be up for the singing.
One reason we have to make announcements is because if we, if we don't, we may have people up here who may pass out. And uh, I'm, I'm among them. And I did want to tell you one little story about, I think, the value of music education and learning to play an instrument early in life. I retired as a high school principal over in Scott County, and, and a couple of months ago, we had a, a get-together of the, a lot of the faculty that was there during my era. And uh, while we were having lunch, uh, I was I'd be sitting there with the football coaches that were there at the time. And they got talking about stories about their high school days when they played and the glory days on the field. And uh, I sat there and listened to them. I said, you know, guys, there's just a little difference between you all and me. When you all were playing football, I came out and did the halftime show. But what's different now, I still get to do the halftime show. <laughs> it's hard to get 22 of your friends together when you're in your 70s and 80s and you know, play football. But, uh, you can find something to learn something in music education. Now, we're in for a real treat. Uh, we have a surprise duet today. Uh, Miss Ture is gonna be joined by Mr. Gregory Ture. And believe me, I heard this guy sing Sunday night, and he's got some chops. So you're in for a treat. Baby, it's cold outside.
think Mr. Troy lived up to expectations. What do you think? Yeah. We're going to continue right on with our Christmas songs with Santa Baby. And I believe Mr. Ms. Horton is going to continue singing. Now a song that was uh, made popular in, during World War II uh, actually caused some problems because it's uh, I'll Be Home for Christmas. Uh, made it suggest that the war might not last quite as long as it did, uh, but this is when the song was written, and we'd like to do this for you right now. I'll Be Home for Christmas.
all of us in the band want to wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.
That's, that's it, there ain't no more. 